Day nine. I think it's day nine anyway. I'm losing track of days, but I'm back from the dead. Had a good sleep, feeling more energized. Weight is down to 161.6, which means I dropped another half a pound overnight. So I'm getting back to where I was before on that low side. Abs are looking tighter. Getting in there, yeah, it's all coming together now, feeling better, I'm gonna get do some work this morning, and then it's gonna be a push workout in the gym, and it's gonna be higher calories, because I'm working out, yay! Just feeling I need that coffee earlier these past few days, I need that energy boost, and that smell though, that smell though. I've been working all morning on the way to get some coffee, well, I'm still deciding that, because I've had like two coffees already, if I have a third, might push me over the edge, might be a little bit too much caffeine overload, but let's see. But yeah, getting some steps in, feeling good. First day in the gym in about three days, so looking forward to getting back into a good pushing workout today. Do some chest, shoulders and triceps. Skin's still feeling a little bit sore and tender from the old laser, but should be good, should be good. And I want to do a quick talk on meal plans, because this came up recently. I just sent an email to my subscriber list and I talked about meal plans and why they make you fat because a lot of people still think meal plans are the way to go, right? Meal plans are the way to get ripped and lean. Here's the thing, they would work if A, you could stick with it and B, you're in a calorie deficit with the right macronutrients. But here's the thing, no one can stick with it because they normally eliminate certain foods, they eliminate certain food groups and who can stick with that? Who never wants to deviate from the plan? Who wants to have to prepare their food on the weekend, eat out of Tupperware for the whole week, never be able to eat out, never be able to enjoy food or, or cut out their favorites and stuff. So when you cut something out, you crave it. When you know you can fit it into your plan, that it loses its hold over you. You feel like you can, you're flexible, right? Flexibility creates sustainability, guys. Whatever you do, choose a plan that allows you to be flexible. And for me, and for my clients, that's tracking macros. And you can drop fat, you can add muscle, get lean, and you can still eat foods you enjoy. Nothing, life isn't about deprivation, it's about enjoyment and also achieving your goals. Had the third coffee, didn't I? home I am starving I need to carb up I'm having two wholemeal rolls with 50 grams of marmalade and then I'm gonna either have pancakes or oats I'm not sure sometimes I eat peanut butter out of the tub because I'm an animal went for the pancakes here's my mixture and let's get rolling protein pancakes holla dinner is going down like this Little serving of greens, got some wilted spinach here, bit of salt, and for the main course we have a big 400 gram baked sweet potato, baked beans, cheese, bit of cracked pepper, beautiful. Okay, here we are, daily macro check. I am well over my carbs today, but there's a reason, don't get angry. I did about 17,000 steps unintentionally today, so definitely uh, burnt more calories and had a heavy workout. And I'm, my energy's lagging a bit, so I felt like I needed more carbs. So up my carbs today, fats on the money, Protein's on the money, it's all gravy baby. If you liked today's video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you tomorrow.